Hi, this is Eric Rice, Pioneer Field Agronomist in West Central Minnesota and Eastern South Dakota. And I'm here with your latest two minute rice egg update. So today is a beautiful fall day in a soybean field. However, today I'm looking at soybean disease, specifically sudden death syndrome or SDS. Now this disease is fairly common for our area. We do see it year over year. However, this year, it is much more prevalent than normal. Why is that? Mainly because of the spring and year we've had. So in the springtime, if we have cool, wet conditions, this disease will infect our plants right at an early stage. If those conditions remain throughout the year, cooler than normal temps, higher than normal moisture, this disease will flourish. And at that point, uh, come close to fall, this disease will move from that soil surface up through your roots and into your plant. And you're gonna start seeing some symptomology such as this right here. If I can get one of these leaves out for you right here, uh, you're gonna start seeing some symptomology such as this. Let me get you a bigger leaf so you can see it there. Uh, like that or like this, okay? If you start seeing symptoms like that, most likely it's SDS and it can kill your plant early See these dying leaves, they're crusty already, or the rest of the field is green. And unfortunately, these pods at the top, they're not gonna fill properly, and they're even gonna abort. So this disease will steal yield from you. So what are you gonna do to manage it? Number one, variety selection. Certain varieties are just naturally tolerant uh, to SDS. We have those ratings in our product guide. Number two, there are certain seed treatments at higher rates. In our lineup, a product called Olivo at a very high rate can help reduce the effect of this disease in your field. A few other management ideas, uh, better drainage, reduce compaction, and soybean cyst nematode control. There are some studies now that are showing if you have high, high soybean cyst nematode pressure, you are much more likely to have a reduction in yield due to SDS as well. Uh, it's just extra stress on the plant that it doesn't need. So as you're driving along this fall and you see areas in your field that maybe died early, I'd start looking on headlands and lower lying areas, those compacted, heavier soil maybe areas that, that held moisture longer. Um, or in your combine this fall, as you're going along and there's certain spots that are robbed of yield, this could be the culprit in your field. And as I said, this is a soil-borne fungal disease that stays here year over year. So we need to remember these fields and manage them different in the coming years. I hope this information helps you. If you have any other questions on this or any other disease uh, in the upcoming days and weeks, I'd encourage you to call your local Pioneer Agency or field agronomist and let us help you out. With that, I hope you have a great harvest and a safe fall. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.